Yo, for all my business owners and content creators, Instagram just released another update within the last week. And it could be a really valuable tool for you if you are trying to grow your following organically in 2021. So stick around, hit that like button and get ready because this video is all about Instagram live rooms and how to use them to build your brand and grow your following. Let's get into it. So today we're talking about what the new update is and how you can use it to grow your business or your brand. I'm going to give you a bunch of tips on how to use this new feature to your advantage. So stick around until the very end to get all the deets. And before we dive in, you should totally hit that subscribe button because I have some killer content coming up about shooting videos for social media, building a brand, Instagram growth, and building your business. Instagram just introduced live rooms this week. These live rooms give you the ability to go live with up to three people. Before the app allowed you to go live with just one other person, but now they're letting you double up during your live streams. As of right now, it looks like this is not an international feature yet, but Instagram said that live rooms will be available soon globally. I am going to show you exactly how to start a live room here in a bit, and we're going to talk about some strategies you can use to actually grow with live rooms fast. But first, do me a favor and comment below what country you are in and whether or not you have the Instagram Live Rooms feature yet. I will be very curious to see which countries have it and which ones don't. One thing to note, anytime Instagram introduces a new feature like this, they tend to favor it pretty highly in the algorithm. And this means you can bet that Instagram will be prioritizing this kind of content inside the app. Early adapters who jumped on Reels really saw big results, so I would bet that the people who jump on this Live Rooms feature will also be rewarded. There are a lot of skeptics though. This new feature has been met with mixed reviews by content creators and Instagram users. Some people like Katie Steckley are pretty underwhelmed by Live Rooms and don't really see too much value in the update. But I disagree. It could be very powerful if you use it the right way. Let's say you have a product-based business and let's say you sell bath bombs and you start a live room with another local boutique, a jewelry designer, and a makeup consultant, all of whom have similar ideal customers as you. You could each showcase three of your newest products, make it almost like an unboxing party, and boom, your business has been seen by all the eyeballs in your collaborators' audiences. Or let's say you have a service-based business, you're a wedding photographer. You can start a live room with a wedding planner, a venue coordinator, and a wedding caterer, and you can each share three things that brides must have on their wedding day. Or maybe you're a network marketer. You can go live with a couple of service providers or product-based businesses that are relevant to your niche. Just make sure your offers all complement each other. Also seen beauty bloggers all doing get ready with me videos at the same time. You could do demos like this that are relevant in your niche as well. The sky's really the limit with these live rooms. They can be a really unique way for your followers to start engaging with your content in a new way. Plus, your followers are familiar with you and how you are on social media, but how cool would it be to show them how you interact with other creators or other business owners? I mean, live video itself is super powerful. Let's talk about that real quick before we jump into some actual strategies for live rooms because the power of live video for your business is so huge, my friend. I have an entire masterclass where I teach my students how to use live video to start making a big impact with a small following. I'll link it below if you wanna check that out, but lives are the most transparent kind of video that you can make for your followers to get to know you and your business because they're unedited, they're unfiltered, and your audience gets to see what you're like in real life. This is really powerful because people buy from people that they know, like, and trust. And live video is one of the best and fastest ways that you can build up those know, like, and trust factors if you do it right. Plus, live video gives your audience an opportunity to interact with you in real time. And you can build really great relationships and reputations with your lives. Now, there are some skeptics, again, that think you can't really provide much value with live video, but again, I disagree you provide a different kind of value with a live video than you do with a pre-recorded video, like on YouTube. And people who watch live videos totally know and understand that. I think that the best way to approach live video is to treat it like you would treat a podcast. Everyone does it differently, but that's how I choose to approach it. So if you're treating it like a podcast, you bring a script or a list of bullet points to say, and you follow a format to achieve the most impact. Now, looping back to Instagram Live Rooms, 
With this new Instagram update, the power of live video is going to be multiplied exponentially because you're not just going live to your audience, you're going live to three other creators' audiences as well. So your reach inside these live rooms will increase by however many followers all of your collaborators have, which means live rooms will be huge for expanding your own audience. This is just one way that you can use this new Instagram feature to grow your business or your brand online. Live rooms will offer an enormous exposure increase. I mean, collaborations are not a new concept. Approach these live room collabs the same way you would with any other platform. You wanna collaborate with people either in your niche or people who offer something valuable to your specific audience. And you wanna make sure that their audience can also benefit from what you have or what you know. The great thing about live rooms is that when all four creators go live together, each one of their audiences is notified. This is literally one of the most powerful ways of collaborating that could help you to grow your following fast. Especially if each person posts the live room replay to their IGTV. Because my friend, the power of live video is always in the replay. Let me give you some numbers. At the time that I'm filming this video, I have like 3,500 followers. I'm a smaller account on Instagram, but I definitely utilize the platform to attract my customers so that I can help support my family. And when I go live, I get maybe like 20 or 30 people who tune in live, but then I post that live replay to IGTV and I'll get 500 to 700 views on the replay. That's more than a 2,500% increase between the live viewers and the replay viewers. So as you can see, the power of lives is truly in the replay, not in the number of people who watch you live. Now, imagine if you could multiply your impact by four. That is what live rooms will do. That's insane. So if you're using live rooms, I highly recommend posting the replay so that your audience has a chance to watch your content. And encourage the creators in your Instagram live rooms to do the same. So to all the people who are saying that this new update to the Instagram algorithm isn't that significant, I very much disagree. You just have to look at it from a different perspective. If you're interested in getting your message out to more people, then it's absolutely worth it for you to start experimenting with. I cannot wait to start doing my own collabs in Instagram Live Rooms. If you have any topics that you'd wanna hear about or any people you'd wanna see collabs with, holler at me in the comments. Like I said earlier, I talk about business, social media, making videos, building a brand, so pick a topic, drop it below, and leave me some recommendations in the comments. And oh yeah, follow me on Instagram and join me in a live room. It'll be fun. So how can you make content that's valuable to your audience in a live room? Look, whenever I approach my content, I always have an outline. You should do the same with Instagram live rooms. I think that these rooms are going to work much better as conversations than as like a monologue. You're not like preparing a speech, but I think that going back to podcasts, the best podcasts that deliver value or like maybe a really good talk show, just like those, it's important to either have a format or an outline to follow. Have a few key talking points or an overall theme or a bullet point list to guide you through the conversation. And that way you can easily define the beginning, the middle and the end of your time in that live room. And then it won't be like awkward, like signing off. <laughs> and it will feel very professional to your audience too. And with live rooms, it's very important that you share the format or the outline with the other creators who are joining you. That way you're all on the same page and you have a conversation that flows really well and feels natural, but really delivers good value to all of your audiences. It's also going to be super important to make sure one person is designated as the moderator and that they kind of lead and guide the conversation. Okay, first, to start a live room, you swipe left and you pick the live camera option. Then you want to add a title. This helps your followers to know what you're talking about so they are more likely to click on it if they're interested in the topic. Then you go live and at the bottom of the screen there's a little camera with a plus button. Click it and type in the person's handle that you want to invite to host in the room with you. When I tested this out the first time, it was hard for some of the people to join me. Sometimes it like glitched when I asked them to join and they did have to like request to join and then sometimes it worked perfectly. So I bet that Instagram will be working out some of those flaws as time goes on but once you have all joined, you can start your conversation and go from there. So let's try this here real quick. I want to start an Instagram room. I have a few friends who have so graciously agreed to join me while we are on here, AKA my mama, my sister, and my girl, Brie. So let's get started on this room and get them all to join here. <sighs> all right, clearly we are in a different time, different location, different place because my son is sleeping and this is the only time that we could coordinate for all of us to jump on this Instagram live room together. So 
Let's check it out. Telling them to join and I'm about to go live. Here we go, I'm gonna start my screen recording here now. Here we go, we are going live. You can add a title here. Testing live rooms. All right, and then you click here, you go live. It's gonna check our connection. And what's up? I'm going to click this little button down here on the bottom right and says it says go live in a room. And I'm going to search for the names of my peeps who are going to go live with me. Hello everyone who's watching. Hey guys. All right, we are we were able to get it to work on this account but not the other account. Rude. Here's Ellie. All right, I'm going to add her here doing this, I just sent her a request to join, and I did the same thing for my mom and Brie. Hello, Ellie! And look at that, we're going live with four people at once. This is so freaking rad. And so that's the process of it. It looks like not every account has this ability yet, because clearly this personal account of mine has it, but my business account does not. So that may be an interesting factor to keep in mind. But thank you guys so, so much for helping me demonstrate this. I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now. <laughs> and I'm going to push this X up at the top. And we end our live video. And then always, always, always share to IGTV. This is how you share to IGTV. I like to add a little cover image to make sure that it stays on brand in my feed and then you post it. And then that makes sure that your content gets shown to your audience. Always encourage your collaborators to do the same thing as well. So that's Instagram Live Rooms. I tested it yesterday on this, the Yurko's account, because I didn't want all of my followers on my business account to be like, yo, what you doing? As I'm like sitting there like, oh, what am I doing with this? So I tested it on this personal account and it worked. And so I didn't think I had any issues, but as you saw, I don't have live rooms on my business account. And this is a twist. Instagram, what's going on? I bet you that they are rolling it out in waves um, as they do usually with new features. So I guess my business account does not have live rooms, but it will soon, so let me know what you wanna see. Take it back to the studio, Shauna. So that's how to actually start an Instagram live room. And you have some awesome strategies to start using live rooms to grow your following and your business. One comparison that I think is worth mentioning here, a lot of people are saying that live rooms are Instagram's version of Clubhouse. This would not be an unprecedented move. I mean, after TikTok got big, Instagram launched its own version with Instagram Reels. I have a whole video on Reels here. If you wanna check that out, it's a good one. 10 out of 10 recommend. So the real question is, are live rooms Instagram's clap back to Clubhouse? And if you don't know, Clubhouse is one of the newest social media platforms that has totally exploded. It's almost like there are tons of virtual live events or live podcasts being recorded on Clubhouse all the time live. And you listen to them when they're happening, but you can never listen to them again. It's a very exclusive feeling platform and they capitalize a lot on creating FOMO. Like you have to have an invitation to join. Personally, I don't hang out on Clubhouse a ton, at least not yet. We're not ruling it out. I like to listen to things that I can pause. <laughs> I live a really busy life as a toddler mom and a wifey and a business owner. And I need to uh, pause podcasts and TV shows and anything a lot. And when you're a busy business owner or content creator like yourself, you really need to focus your attention on the platforms where your audience hangs out and where you see results. And for me, those results right now are coming from Instagram and YouTube. And I just don't have time or bandwidth to dive into a whole new platform quite yet. But that doesn't mean it's not in the plan, so stay tuned. <laughs> if I were to make a clubhouse room, what kind of topics would you want to hear me talk about? Live only during that time and never be able to hear it again. Or who would you want me to start a room with? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today, my friend. Hopefully you enjoyed this video about the newest Instagram algorithm update. Make sure you check out any of these videos wherever they are on the screen to learn how you can start marketing your business on social media or making videos or building a brand online. Can't wait to hear some of the topics you wanna see me do live rooms or clubhouse rooms on and 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, bell button. Before you head out, all the buttons. Happy brand building, my friend. I will see you in the next video.